Ba da da, ba da da, da 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 da. Dino, give this one a jazzy feel. Yeah. Listen to that. Listen to those little symbols. I hope that there's symbols going on right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, we're just gonna hop in. I kind of, I've been feeling doing, um, doing a lost run, a tainted loss. So, tainted loss is a lot like the original version of Lost, where you just don't have the um, holy mantle anymore. But as you can see at the bottom, it says better items, no mantle. So better items, it means that there's not just like specifically health upgrades anymore. That that the Lost can. Um, and find in his pool so it's all gonna be it's all gonna be items that are beneficial to the lost character which which is good that it can still be um you know rage upgrades and everything that those those less useful items but it's not gonna be the not utilized at all items so it's a good change it's definitely a positive change and i've always really liked playing as the lost uh we do start with a holy card so basically we have one free hit and that does last through rooms, um, or through floors, rather. So we can, we've popped it right at the beginning, and now we have one hit, uh, permanently, basically. So, what do we need with the Lost? Well, right now we're gonna try and just do the Dark Room path. We've already done the, the, the uh, Boss Rush and Hush, so the, the two things that need speed. So if we can just get to the dark room, we can just get a run good enough for that. And oh, maybe delirium as well. We might be able to to, um, to do both at the same time. But I kind of want to I want to just the regular the regular path. You know, not worry about the the new stuff, the the difficult, the much more difficult enemies quite yet. Um, one of these days, I, I think we'll just get a stream together where it's it's you know five or six hours of just playing as the lost. And actually, the blue candle. The blue candle would be pretty good for us, and a nickel here really helps that uh, that become a possibility. So, if we can get a, a a couple more more pennies, a little bit more money, I don't. I think this gives me a bone heart um, at the end of every floor, and we will do our do uh, our due diligence here to look for super secret room. Okay, that was that was fortunate, and this is an awesome super secret room. Nice with uh, ceremonial robes. We're definitely gonna take this. We'll go. We'll go double deal just because it gave us one right off the bat, and that's gonna be a uh, a damage up for us to start with, which is just phenomenal. And we look really cool now. And now we're gonna look a little it's still cool, but kind of ill. We're we're sick and we're sick. Oh, uh, dude, like. Well, I mean, I mean, the one chest was really good. The bombs is fine too. Now we have five bombs, which means we can get that. Um, which means that we can go bomb our machine and get that blue candle, which I think is going to be worth doing. In fact, we should do that right away. I'll, I'll see if maybe we can push this barrel up to get our regular secret room. It could be right there. Hey, yeah. Uh, let's actually go get the candle before we even go into that room, just in case. With the Lost, I, I I play a lot more cautiously than I normally do. I think everyone probably does. Um, probably plays more cautious. And that's good. I mean, he's he's a one-shot character, so you kind of got to, you, you know, you got to put your best foot forward. Pretty nice. We can we can uh, burn all the corpse, all, all the corpses. Don't need to worry about using bombs to uh, up our percentages for the devil deals. Unfortunately, though, we, we most likely will not be going into curse rooms. Um, I say unfortunately just because I, I really like curse rooms. It just feels like, you know, like uh, Devil Room Juniors a lot of the times. Devil Deal Juniors. Um, just because you can get a lot of really good items from them. Um, or like Soul Hearts and such. I usually think they're worth going into, but with the last, with the uh, Tainted Lust, we literally just can't. Um... We, we, you know, we could do it the one time because we have the holy card, but that's the only time that we possibly could. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. We'll be getting a, uh, a psychic friend, most likely, from this fight. Which is pretty good. 
Oh, that was that was silly. <laughs> uh, which is pretty good. I think Little Steven's uh, one one of the better um, one of the better followers for sure that we can get. And I think that's it for this floor. So we'll head down. No need for us to uh, to go back. We had found our secret and super secret rooms. So I do like to do full clearing um, whenever possible with the lost. Uh, Sister Maggie, I guess that's going to be two out of three. I, does, I think little Steven counts towards the uh, conjoined transformation. We'll take some pills. I'm not afraid of pills on the, on this game. A couple times, you know, screws you over. But I think I think probably like eight out of ten times the pills are going to be good for you. Or, or neutral. Good or neutral. We are one hit right now. We need to remember that. So we need to be playing... Playing the rocks, especially, you know, we, we're, we're on a spider floor. So, we're, we're going to have some very sporadic movement from all these enemies. And they, uh, a tears up is great. But, nice. No brainer here. We go for lusty blood. It, it sucks now that the, uh, that the other item gets taken when you, uh when you go for a devil deal with the lost, but I guess it makes sense. Doesn't want they didn't want the lost to be too powerful. And and we'll take the uh the petrified poop over what, what's this one even called? Hollow Heart. Gotcha. Yeah so Hollow Heart it gives you a bone heart at the uh at the beginning of every floor. Kind of like um the uh Maggie's Faith item where it gives you a a holy heart or whatever they're called an eternal heart. Right, that was had to kind of concentrate there for a second. Um, yeah, kind of like that. Uh, the booster pack, actually, the booster pack we might go for. I think we are going to go for it, which is kind of silly, probably stupid, but we might be able to get a holy card out of this. And I see a a reverse card there. Man, this run already actually seems seems pretty good. We're doing a lot of damage right now. That sure is a heck lot of damage. For how early on we are. A Suicide King, hilarious. Ace of Clubs is great. Sun is pretty good, too. Magician, also good. Dang. And a Reverse Tower card. Let's see, what does... We ought to look it up real quick. Spawn six clusters of rocks and objects that normally appear on the first floor. They won't block any doors or exit. Rocks have a pretty good chance to become tinted rocks. Oh, cool. Okay. So I guess we can go ahead and pop the uh, tower right now. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, that was rad. Let's go. I guess we might as well pop the sun, too. I think we're going to take the ace of clubs down with us. There's a tinted rock right there. I don't see any, um, any double tinted, whatever they're called, super tinted rocks. I guess, you know, Ace of clubs in right here is not a terrible, well, we'll keep Ace of Clubs for our, um, for an enemy room, though. We'll just do it for an enemy room. I was, I was really hoping to get a couple more tinted rocks out of that, so we could, we could hopefully get, uh, that one thing, you know, the, sm the small rock, that one. Super secret room, uh, probably down there by the boss. Man, I hate that room. <laughs> that that room scares me. <laughs> yeah, right here. It's got to be here. I don't think there's really. Oh, oh. Where else? Oh, it could be. Could be off of this room, right here. <laughs> All right. They've changed up some of the locations a little bit. Like, I used to kind of have uh, have the layouts of the rooms memorized that a lot of the secret rooms would be off of. And I just I just don't anymore. Um, we do want the 9-volt. I know it doesn't really help with the candle. But if ever we get rid of the candle, the 9-volt is really going to come into play. I also want to check something real quick. I... Okay, never mind. I, I uh, remember seeing shadows off of these doorways, and I was wondering if they added some kind of a uh, a tell 
as to where the secret rooms were. So that's something I, I ought to pay attention to a little bit. See if there's a if there is some kind of little subtle thing here and there that, that kind of shows you. You can get a little bit more guaranteed bomb placements. Yeah, so far this run's not bad. We do have this ace of clubs. Let's see what this room. Yep, boom. Perfect room for it. I I am just not a fan <laughs> of this room. <laughs> It takes too long, which you know, the longer the longer these rooms get, take us to to, uh, to complete, the more that could potentially go wrong. Go ahead and push. Oh, maybe let's not. It's looking like it's ready to explode. So I'm thinking um, there could be a secret room down right here. You see that shadow right there that appears? Well, that's not really centered, though. That's not... That might be it, though. We'll have to take a look. If, the, if that ends up being the secret room, that could be something. Hey, and there you go. It's definitely not the secret room, because it doesn't connect over here. So the shadow, turns out, uh, was nothing the whole time. Crazy. Okay. Excellent. Uh, we'll go with Ghost Baby, I guess, just because we already have a, an active item. And there's our conjoined transformation. Now, if we can get, um, Tractor Beam, mm, we'll be having a pretty good day. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I, I dodge into those bullets so often. It's just terrifying. A little bit of speed, not bad. A little bit of speed, and we got conjoined out of out of uh, going into that room. All all in all, pretty good. I kind of think the right uh, off to the right is going to be the boss room path. So let's let's go the other way first. And more speed, okay. So we're pretty good on speed now, game. No more, no more. Thank you. We are doing enough damage right now that I'm not seeing the, you know, I'm not like constantly wishing that I had my candle charged. So that's pretty good. It's a good tell for me. Because a lot of times, you know, if we if we have slower runs, I get a little impatient and I end up um, like walking into spikes or into enemy bullets, just trying to kill something faster. It's something I always end up doing. Patience is not my virtue. And, then, and the last flight is just it's phenomenal. It's a good. One. Oh, okay. not too bad. A little scary. Um, I always forget what that guy is, but I don't think we want it. And charge penny though. Um, you know, at this point, I think it's better than the. I think it's better than the petrified poop now, just because I think we're pretty well done finding poop on the floor. The run is is becoming is becoming potty trained, you know. Bats room. Whoa! I love seeing the um, little Stevens shots curve around every once in a while. Like a shot that's just completely gonna be miss, uh, you know, missing the target, but then it just curves like around the whole room and smacks someone in the face. Wait, is this their secret room right here? Looks like on the map. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how we found that. Must have been a, uh, a bomb fly. And I think we're going to blow him up, and then we'll just um, fire the last guy. We used. I know we didn't have to use a bomb. We could have just waited for this to recharge. I can't get out the door, please. Thank you. Um, and actually, I just remembered we had charge penny too, so I think it, it automatically charged up for us. Whatever. I, I wanted to use a bomb, you know. Um, I think we're good. We'll, we'll grab the card. High Priestess, not bad. High Priestess is pretty uh, is pretty useful against a uh, you know some boss fights and such. Oh, um, I'm gonna try right here for a super secret room. No, we'll try down by the. 
boss room maybe and uh if it's not there then there's too many options for the super secret room so i don't want to go using all the bombs to try and find it i mean i guess we could go off of this left room and see Ooh, it yeah, definitely can't be here so let's actually yeah let, let's take a look real quick we'll go off of the uh off of the l up here go straight ahead And fortunately not worth it, but normally actually a pretty good room. Not with this active item, but with with a lot of the other ones it would have been. It would have been a really good find for us. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. I hate Pete. I hate Pete. And would we rather have a ton of luck over the charge? I think we're gonna say yes, actually. Um we don't have any real luck-related items yet, but I think we're, we're more likely to get a luck-related related item than an item that we need Charge Penny to um, utilize properly. But we should be okay. Not bad. I do need to remember as well, though, that there are Mimics in this game, um, because I have walked into Mimic chests like four or five times as as the tainted lost and i'm always devastated now sing for your friends i think this means that yeah our familiars shoot faster yeah oh this could be really good for us nice the amount of tears on screen is is a lot more now okay this this seems like it's gonna be really good i've never actually used this trinket um in a build that I've had, so it's kind of cool. Kind of cool to have a uh, a really heavily familiar based build. I think the uh, I mean I mean I know it doesn't help with the trinket that we've got, but if we could get some incubus going on, that would be incredible. Now the coupon is really, really good. I forget what this one is. It's it's one of the option button or option um, items, but I think it's like options with a question mark or something. Yeah, it is. The clearing room will spawn an extra reward. However, only one can be picked up. The other one will disappear. Okay. You know that 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 seems pretty good actually. That seems that seems decent. Just because, like, maybe we can get a card. And actually, that that makes me think also. It's it's probably worth buying the, the uh, sacks in, in the shops as well. Because we can get another holy card. I think the holy card spawns are, um, are upped for this character. Um, so, so, yeah, if we, if we uh, have more options for... Things that drop at the end, we can hopefully get some some holy cards going. Not too bad so far. A little scary with the with the one HP still, but we're clearing rooms without much issue at the moment. Oh, whoops! I actually would have rather had the pill there. Shot speed range down. That's fine. Uh, the mind actually, I, I like I like the mind a lot. I don't... I don't mind it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, bomb or penny? I guess we, we can't... We'll actually go with the penny on that one. Oh, wait. Why do we go with the penny? Bomb's kind of equal pennies. <laughs> you know, we could just blow up the donation machine if ever we needed a bomb. These rooms like to hide um, super tinted rocks all the time. I'm not seeing one on this one in this room, but it's always a good thing to keep an eye out for. And we have a lot of bombs. We got 10, 10 bombs. We, we can make it 14. Let's go ahead and play this guy a little bit. Nice. We'll go down to like five bombs and we'll fight the boss. And then we'll come back if we don't need more bombs. Oh, that could have been tragic. <laughs> I didn't even think of that room. I, 
we very easily could have been within the, uh, the, the range for those explosions. A charge key. Oh, that's right. Two, two payouts. Uh, might as well go play this guy a tiny bit more. Give me, give me another bomb upgrade, please. Dude, the money's fine too. That's just fine. <laughs> Um, let's go with the bomb. It's like I'm all kind of subject. Actually, a great pill to have in our rotation. Okay. Seems there's a... Yep. A fly hiding behind Gerd. Range and luck? Not bad. Not bad. Okay, nine lives. Come on. I'm ready for my nine lives. <laughs> Range down, great. Very close. Let's go ahead. Um, now nah, let's just just let's just leave. I don't think it's actually worth playing that bomb beggar anymore. Four bombs should be fine, and like a lot of bomb upgrades aren't super worth it. 